Right, well, just explain to me a bit about the, the session we just went on. Okay, um, Girls Only Swimming is obviously for Girls Only <laughs> Swimming. Um, it's a, it can be a learn to swim session, so you get quite a lot of girls who can't swim at all um, come in and I teach them literally from, from scratch how to swim. And um, the other half of the session then, which is more or less on the deep end, are girls that generally come in for a swim and have a little play about that kind of thing. I also then have um, a few girls that come in who are really good swimmers and they want a programme. So then I'll put together a programme that will last for about 20 minutes and they can just get on and, and do that as well. Um, it's, you know, it's a really good session. I do try and, the girls I don't specifically um, teach to swim, I spend about 10, 15, 10 minutes at the end of the session and teach them how to dive or tumble turn, that type of thing. So they have, they've learned something then from, from swimming. Okay, so why girl, girls only? Um, well, we've got quite a lot of, um, of Asian community within Bishop Road and um, they can't, you know, obviously I don't, with the religion there's certain regulations they have to abide by so on a Wednesday with girls only I get in my, um, my young ambassador um, Ellie to um, lifeguard for me because she's a qualified lifeguard so she does that on a voluntary basis which is great um, and then the girls then can put on what their relevant clothing and then come in and swim then so because they don't usually swim with the boys within their PE lessons so I get quite a lot of girls in for that big, for that reason. Do you find you getting a big, bigger uptake then because it's not a mixed session it is the girls only? Yeah it, by far um, I'm averaging at least uh, between 20 and 30 girls per session um, which is absolutely brilliant far more than what actually participates within the PE lesson and what's great about the PE staff is that if, if the girls you know for whatever reason don't want to do swimming within a PE lesson um, they're encouraged by them to come on a Wednesday lunchtime to do it then which they do so it's, it's working really well. Okay so uh, I suppose the hope is that they'll be enthused to carry on swimming longer now that they're getting more practice and and you know having a bit of fun doing it as well. Yeah, definitely. And for the for the girls who can't swim at all, they they're watching the other girls swimming around and having fun, and I can see they're watching in envy because they want to be able to do that themselves. And just one example, one of the girls started with me um, in September, and she can actually swim now, which is you know it's fantastic. She's mingling in with amongst the other girls in the deep end. She's starting to learn to dance and from someone who didn't want to put her face in the water back in September you know you can see where she's come you know how far she's come and I think the other girls now um, that are learning to swim from scratch you know are hoping to achieve the same same sort of thing